3-1 victory in quarterfinal game against the East Coast Sox and uh, West Coast Sox are heading to the semifinals. But first of all, your assessment of this game? Um, it was a hard-fought battle by both teams. Uh, we really came out with a plan to make sure we make the 100% plays. Um, we had a short bench. We've had three injuries this tourney. Uh, so we only had seven forwards and uh, five D. So we really wanted to make sure that we were smart, not just playing hard, but playing smart. Um, you know, they had a really good team and they have a deep team. So we just had to play smart, um, play position, make sure pucks are chipped deep, get pucks on net when you can. At the beginning, or the beginning of the game uh, didn't go well for you. Uh, you were trailing one, I think, but you had still a lot of scoring opportunities. But it seemed like you had a tough time to find the back of the net. So uh, what was the reason uh, of that struggling in uh, capitalizing scoring opportunities? Yeah, I think both teams uh, had a lot of opportunities up front, and both goalies played well. Um, we kind of scrambled around in the D zone. They had possession. They got a tip. Um, we almost had a couple opportunities. The puck was laying in the crease. We couldn't knock it home. Um, you know, that happens, uh, but we just wanted to make sure to let the kids know it's not over and keep battling. What did you tell the players uh, during the during the intermission when you were still uh, one nothing down? Uh, stay focused. Keep sticking to the plan. Um, continue to play hard. Um, we were in it. You know, we had just as, the same amount of scoring opportunities. They just happened to be uh, one shot away. Um, so we kind of stuck with that model all this weekend. You know, we don't look at it one goal away. That's one shot. I mean, nowadays it can be scored from all the way from center ice or it can be tipped or, you know, go off someone's skate. So just uh, tell the boys to play position and keep working. Does this win feel even more that you beat uh, the opponent uh, that is trying the same locker room with you? Uh, yeah, you know, it was interesting because we're in the same room and I think some of the kids mentally uh, weren't prepared for it. They'd never been in that, you know, they're usually a little loosey-goosey. Um, but, yeah, no, it's a huge win and we just want to keep moving forward. Um, we're not satisfied. So we won last year, but, you know, we don't even have the same group of guys. We have some guys that return, but we're really focusing on trying to get to the championship and going from there. 3-1 victory over uh, East Coast Alex old team. Uh, your feelings after win and uh, qualifying to the semifinals? Oh, I mean, it was great. Uh, we took the win after they got the 1-0 lead. So uh, it was great to get the win and uh, move on. As you mentioned, you were down by one, uh, but still you had uh, plenty of scoring opportunities. You personally had uh, a lot of scoring opportuni opportunities. Uh, what went wrong that you didn't capitalize? Uh, it, it was tough. I mean, they were very big and physical. I mean, we just stuck with it and uh, eventually uh, got one and then money came through. So, yeah. As for the performance of opposing goaltender, I guess he was a big obstacle for you. Yeah, he was really good. I mean, really big. He moves really fast, so it was really tough to get around him and uh, score. But uh, he eventually got one, and then that led to many others. So it was great. Uh, basically, it was a battle of teams that share uh, one locker room. So uh, yeah. is that win? Uh, do you have a special feeling after after win? Uh, after uh, yeah, I mean, like it's it's very tough for the other team. I mean, they come in there and one's upset, one's very happy, and it's it's difficult, but. Luckily, we won, so yeah, it was great. So, head coach, after 100% record in the group stage, the first loss came in the very first game of the playoffs for you. Uh, do you think that the, the players were overconfident heading to this game? Yeah, I th I absolutely. I think um, you know we tried to tried to stay focused at the task in hand, and you know we knew we had to come out and play, and they were, you know. <clears throat> a little overconfident and you know we talked a little bit the other day about discipline and staying out of the box uh, a couple bad penalties um, you know they didn't score on them but you know that's six minutes of we're not playing five on five and our structure and our and our compete level just wasn't where it needed to be uh, you were leading one I think uh, but in the second half of the game just your opponent uh, were able to score but uh, what was the orders like uh, in the intermission when you were Still, we're leading one up. It was good. I mean, we were good, positive talks. We were ready to go. We had a game plan, you know, and we just got out there and, just, you know, the the execution and the compete level of, of the game plan uh, just wasn't there. You shared the same locker room as your opponent. Uh, is it, or has the, uh, does the coach uh, have, a, let's say, more difficult task to, to have some speech or something like that? Because, you know, 
uh, every single word your opponent uh, can listen to? Well, it, it's not that's not why we lost, but it's not uh, the ideal situation when you're trying to get ready. You know, you have the other the team you're playing on the other side. You have to pull the kids out of the locker room to talk to them. So it's not ideal, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the day. Uh, you got to go out there and play the game. All right, uh, Jacob, disappointing loss, three uh, one to uh, West Coast Sox. Uh, tell something about the game. Uh, we lost. It hurts, but we had to see it coming. They outworked us in the corners, along the boards, races to pucks, everything, front of the net. Uh, we had to see it coming. They wanted it more than us. They deserved it more than us, and they got what they what they got. Uh, although the final, despite the final result, uh, you were leading one nothing. Uh, you were leading one nothing after first period. Uh, uh, what happened that you were not able to maintain the lead till the end of the game? Uh, we underestimated them. They they caught us off guard. They came out hard, and we weren't ready for it. They got a few quick ones, got the momentum on their side, and we couldn't stop them from then. Uh, you went uh, unbeaten uh, by the group uh, stage. Were you a little bit overconfident heading to this game? Yeah, I think so. We kind of had that swagger that we just went five and zero. Oh, we can win because we played we played relatively well in the round robin. We thought we were somewhat unbeatable. Uh, as for the whole tournament, since you end this tournament by by this quarterfinal loss, how would you uh, how would you evaluate this tournament? What was the experience like to play here in Slovakia? Uh, I love the tournament. The hockey was great. Getting to play some of the European te uh, European teams, see their style, see how good the players were. It was an awesome time. It was well organized. The tours were fun, and everything was just on point.